this video this video is pretty touching on many fronts because I can relate but the difference was I wasn't privileged in the beginning we grew up in the projects man and my grandmother took care of pretty much the entire family the thing is I didn't get to see a better life until after I got about 19 years old 18 or 19 the fact that my father came from shit nothing and um, you know he was half black, half Indian. My mom was straight black. And the hood wasn't nice, man. The name I, the man I'm named after was gunned down, shotgun to the to the grill and shit, you know. So the whole of what I learned was all about the hustle. And on top of that, you know, I was a little scrawny dude growing up, grandmama raised me, so I didn't really I was practice I was soft until I got thrown into the heart of the jungle, man. I mean, it's like, it was like, kill or be killed. And there ain't no way for anybody to live. You know, um, the women were all hard-headed. Most of them, the young girls was pregnant and, you know, wanting to fit in. So, you know, it's like, you know, it was like that one movie, um, you know, when, when the kids was uh, trying to hook up for the summer. I forget the name of that damn movie, but uh, it was like that, man through little projects and shit. Um, it was faulty, man. I mean, every visual was fucked up. And when you finally grow up and you leave, I didn't understand how fucked up it was until I left. I came from a little small town, which was white and black. Then I moved into an all-black town. And I swear, it's, it's like night and day young black people do not know how to act and, and the younger the younger mom and daddy was the more fucked up the kids was and I learned a long time ago that a child can't raise a child so you know that cycle right there was fucked up because there wasn't no grandmama taking care of these people it was just like you know is this your sister no that's my mama you know it was, it was one of them kind of situations where a, chi a child would raise their siblings you know, and, and everything that was shown was fucking negative. And you go to church, and, you know, Reverend, you know, whatever his name is, I ain't gonna say no names, Reverend so-and-so, he always had shit going on because he had the mouthpiece, you know. And, and <laughs> I watched videos recently, man, and, and, it, and it explains why we are the way we are. <clears throat> We've been taught to defeat ourselves. You know, wh why in the hell should a master whoop the shit out of us when we can whoop the shit out of ourselves and save him time and labor and all kind of shit keeping us alive by giving us the false sense of freedom and shit a false sense of freedom is better than not seeing any freedom at all and quote me if you want to these people our people have got complacent it's like oh I'm not dead I'm not hungry I'm satisfied that satisfaction is a false sense of satisfaction I was at a Prince concert, Oakland Coliseum, and Prince said, you know, Prince, man dressed up in purple, do all that singing, everybody loves to try to say he's this and he's that. Prince said, if you're working for anybody other than yourself, you are a slave. And like I said, this series of videos I just watched recently, man, we have been taught to be no more than servants, man. Black people, no matter how much money we earn and how much we spend, we don't own shit. Um, no matter how smart brothers and sisters claim they are, they are stupid. Half of them don't give a fuck. Half of them don't give a damn. They're all driven by the Joneses. You know what I mean by the Joneses is this. If I got a brand new watch, the next dude won't have a bigger watch. And the next dude won't have a bigger watch. It'll go on and it'll go on and it'll go until a motherfucker run around with a clock on his goddamn neck screaming, yeah, boy. You understand what I'm saying? It has gotten that silly. You can act dumb or stupid. You can act like a minstrel nigga and get over. You try to act like you, you want to have some respect and some will and some courage and some determination about yourself and you get fucked 95% of the time. That's like when you put videos up on the internet. It all depends on what you're saying in the video. The context of the video and the person reviewing the video, it might offend the person reviewing the video.
If you said something positive about black people and the person reviewing the video really doesn't like black people, how do you think that video is going to come up on the internet? It probably won't. And I looked at that in my videos, in my earlier videos, and I'd always wonder why is my shit not working? Why does this not work? And I figured it out. The message I was saying in a lot of those videos was so damn positive that it was hurting the person that listened to the message before the rest of the world could get it. So, you take that analogy and you put forth towards the Bible. Yeah, I, I just went from doing a video to the Bible. Now, if all of a sudden, um, I was the ruler of the world, don't you think I changed the Bible in my image? I'm just saying this out of the blue because, um, King James wasn't around in the Jesus days, was he? But he sure didn't know enough about Jesus to rewrite the Bible in his honor, in his favor. The same religion that everybody pretty much, you gotta be Christian, Baptist, Pentecostal. I mean, it's like all these religions that relate to Jesus and God. Come on, man. How much has God actually done for the black people in America? Hmm? How far has God got black people? We're not dead. Like I said in that one video, we're like cockroaches. They kill us, they burn us, they smash us, they destroy us, and we're still here. We're still here doing what? Serving what fucking purpose? What's the whole purpose of, of, of having an honor and respect about yourself if you have to go down the street and watch somebody fuck that up? So you get back to the Bible. If there's a set of rules that black people should go by, they should go by their own rules. Let's go deep into the hearts of Africa and find out what kind of religion they have because the one that we have been given does not work for us. We pray and we pray and we pray and we pray and we pray until we fall asleep praying. Every night before I go to sleep. You feel me? So... You look at the big picture, man. You struggle to survive. We never struggle to get ahead. We never struggle to save something. We never struggle to overcome. We only struggle to survive. So the next time, because I told my wife, she came in the house yesterday, I'm sorry. I told her, you need to cancel Christmas. These are my kids. I don't take care of the kids. I'm saying to myself, don't buy shit from nobody for Christmas. Wait until January. If we can get every black person in America to wait until January 15th or whatever to do their Christmas, don't spend no money in no stores around here. Save all your money. By January 15th, find one company to go to. Mervyn's is going out of business. Mervyn's, yes, Mervyn's the same old place we know him for all of our lives going out there. If I was a billionaire, I'd buy Mervyn's. And I'd encourage every black person to come to Mervyn's and buy from me. But, what's the odds of that? First thing they say is, oh, that nigga's product is fucked up. Same store they've been going to for, for 40 years. But since the black man owns it, it's fucked up. So you have to look at the big picture. What was the last major black owned company? Figure it out. And you think about all the black hair care products. Everything that is, even the black clothing. Who makes these clothing? Who makes the hair care products? Who benefits from it? Every liquor store in every black neighborhood is owned by Arab. What was it? Was it first in line when, 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 they, when, when slaves were for sale? So you look at the big picture. Black America feeds the rest of this country and you and you might not think so but who, we don't make enough money not to have to pay big taxes we don't earn enough to maintain ourselves and that right there is the root we will never achieve until we have our own they at least put the Indians on reservations. That's at least what they did. You've been too, man. It's late at night, and I got off point some kind of way, but 
I'll hit you tomorrow.